hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so in this tutorial we are going to work on the show this order products button in which you will display all the products which this which each specific order or you can say which each final specific order will contain okay so yeah I mean let's start work on that so let's go to the under studio and first of all we need to create a new activity so new activity and that will be empty activity and the name of this activity will be admin user products activity admin user products activity where we will display the products which a user uh, I mean which the, f uh, the final order of a user contain I mean all the products for each specific order and which is by the way store inside this cart list in this admin view I hope you remember that is this user purchase one product okay and this user purchased two products and this user uh, purchased three products so here you can see this we will retrieve it now so yeah now go to the XML file first of all we need to change this to the relative layout and all we're gonna need is to add a recycler view here match parent match parent and one thing which we need is let's go to the resource and on the admin new orders from here we need to copy this relative layout let's copy all of these up to this recycler view and now we can here remove this first one and we can simply paste that here and change the id of it to r3 and this will be you can just display that is let's say username orders and we can give id to it but instead of that we can just display a i mean a title like uh, that is products i mean let's ignore this and the next thing is we need to this uh, relative layout will be below I mean this recycler view will be below this relative layout okay and if I show you you can see this so yeah and make sure to change the ID of it to products list now let's go to the uh, admin user product activity and here we can say private recycler view we can give it name as products list recycler dot layout manage layout manager private database reference products reference and in here we can say products reference to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child the child will be our products not but wait a second we I mean here you can see the the, the node name is cart list and we are retrieving the, from here okay so we need to make a reference to the cart list the admin view and then we have to get the specific ID of that user or you can say the phone number of that specific user so how we can do that first of all let's give the proper name which is the cart list sorry this is our product list and this one this is our cart list reference and we need to make a reference to the cart list let's move it to the second line so here we can further proceed it dot child and then we have a 
admin view cart list admin view and then how we can get this specific user by their id or you can set this phone number so how we can get that phone for that we need to go back to our uh, new orders activity and here on our admin new orders activity when a user we can say holder and as you remembered we have this button which is show orders button so we can say dot show orders button dot set on click listener new on click listener so if a user click on that we will send the user to this activity which is user product activity so here we can simply say intent admin new order activity dot this we are going to send the user to the admin user product activity dot class and we have to alongside with that we are going to put extra we are going to send that phone number or you can set the id the specific id on which a user will click that is let's say if a user click on this one then it must get the phone number or you can say this, this specific user id and it will send it to this admin user product activity so we can simply say uid comma and then we can say model dot get phone that's it and we can start the activity for the intent and now we have to receive this here so for that we need to create a string type variable so we can simply say string user id equals to null and here we can say user id equals to get intent dot get let us get string extra and here we need to pass this same id which is uid and that's it and then after it we can simply say dot child and pass this user id here so this is our reference and now we need to create on start method and in here we are going to use the firebase recycler options and here we need to pass this model class which is this products okay but wait a second i mean we want i mean i need to check this we need a model class which contain all this data okay which is time quantity price uh, the product name pid discount and date so for that we will be using our this cart model okay because it contain the product id p name price quantity and discount so yeah we can pass the cart and then we can say options equals to new let's move it to the next line dot set cart list reference comma cart dot class dot build now after that we can use the firebase recycler adapter first parameter it's needed the model class cart and the other one is the cart view holder which you already created on our inside this view holder we have this cart view holder so we will be needing this same class which we use for the cart activity already okay so we can use this same class here so uh, what i am going to do is first let me complete this so that we can move ahead okay so here on our this activity you can say cart view holder let's give it a name as adapter equals to new firebase recycler adapter and these two methods are created uh, alongside with that make sure to put a semicolon here and first of all we need to pass options to it and then 
remove this return null and let's go to the cart activity and from the cart activity here we have this okay all you're gonna need is to copy this code and paste that here that's it and the next thing is this on bind view holder here we need to display our products okay so also let's go back to the cart activity because we are uh, using the same thing okay here so that's why I'm just copy pasting that and copy it and let's come back here and we can paste it on our own bind view holder and then we can after this semicolon we can say product list dot set adapter to the adapter adapter dot start listening this product list okay we have to initialize over this recycling view basically so for that uh, below this user id we can simply say product list equals to find view by id or dot id dot what is the id of this it is product list so you can simply say product list recycle product list dot set has fixed size to true layout manager equals to new linear layout this product list set layout man to the layout manager reference here you can see we have this cart list then admin view and then the user phone or you can say this user id so you can see cart list admin view this is the phone number but after that we have to pass the products uh, node also under that products node we have all the products which a user purchased okay so i'm really sorry for that we forgot to add that so here we can simply say products one important thing which we need to modify is come here to the admin new orders activity and here we cannot get the phone okay directly because we are going to get the uh, id or you can say the phone of that user on which uh, user uh, admin will click okay the admin will click on any order on the order list so to get that we are going to create a string type variable and we can given uh, the name that is uid to it and then we can say get reference get ref okay which means reference and by using this object which is our this end position okay so we have to get the position of that order and then we are going to get the key of that so we are going now to pass this key or this uid to the next uh, this activity okay so yeah everything is okay now and now let's run the app and let's click on this show this product and here we go you can see this head 2x quantity 2 and price 200 so this order contain only one product i mean the user has purchased only one product and if we check this is alan stark and this is a phone number i mean this is for the uh, specific order if i come here to the database here you can see had phone x that we uh, this is the product id the product name had phone x you can see this and now let's check for the other one let's say i'm going to check for this one which is mohammed ali and this one okay total price is 2030 if i click on this and this uh, order contain three products i mean the user purchased want to purchase these three products okay so here if we check the database then here you can see for three at okay but if i expand this then you can see this three products which is the the first one is the Cool summer t-shirts then macbook pro and then iphone x quantity 3 
one and six here here you can see this so yeah i mean this is perfect this is amazing this is working really nice so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video tutorial what we will be doing is that uh, we will be finishing this app so yeah that's it for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now